ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to City Skylines Xbox One Edition. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I am certainly excited to be jumping in to City Skylines on the Xbox One. It's been almost two years since this was announced, but it's finally here, or rather, it's almost here. A special thank you to both Paradox and Colossal Order for letting me check this out a little bit early. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we are going to be starting a new game. We're going to be going with one of the old classic maps here. I'm honestly eyeing up Foggy Hills just a little bit. The city name is not going to be Spring Valley, though. That's... That is just not staying here. We're going to just change that a little bit and get ourselves good old, good old Nerds Dale, just like so. There we go. Nerds Dale is going to be the name of the city. Left hand drive traffic, and we are going to be turning on unlimited money. You might be asking yourself, hold on a minute, why are you turning on unlimited money? Well, to put it simply, I have played a lot of City Skylines, and I'm quite excited for Mass Transit, which is out in like a month's time, and I know how long it takes to get to sort of a, a finished state with City Skylines, and that's going to be more than a month if I don't have unlimited money. I also just want to explore the console version of City Skylines. We still have management to do. We need to deal with demand. We need to deal with supply. We need to deal with zoning and the coverage of all sorts of things. So we do still have a management side of things. We just don't have to worry about money. So hello! Let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them. Buildings will spawn on the zoned areas and you will unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows. For help, press the right stick. It will provide you with information regarding the menu or view that you have open or the item you have selected. You can view detailed information about your city at any time by holding Y to open the radial info menu and selecting an info menu with the left stick. Beautiful. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, City Skylines on Xbox One. It looks pretty damn similar to uh, how it looks on PC. The draw distance is slightly uh, less than what it is on PC, but I'm not here to review the game. I'm just here to play it. So we're going to go right ahead and build ourselves a little road over here. We're just going to build like that, and then we're going to delete it because I don't want that to be my main road in. I want a nice little one-way road over here. So it's going to go to about there. We're going to have this road come in to... Ooh, they don't quite line up, do they? Uh, that can go like that. Then this connects to there, and we delete that bit. Then we're going to have to go in and change the direction of that road just like so, and we are sorted in terms of uh, getting traffic in and out of the city, except what I'm going to do here is uh, just go back to straight roads there and have that be a little connection across there so traffic can immediately U-turn. Uh, but for the main road through the city, we're going to go 20 units this way. And we're going to go across like, uh, like this. We're going to just bring that up to about there as well. And we'll go for a regular old two-way road between those like that. Uh, so that connects kind of nicely. I'm pretty sure that road does need to be flipped around though, so let me just get the one-way road here, change the road direction, and there we go. If we zoom in, we can see the direction that the roads are going. That one goes straight on or to the right. That one should probably be a two-way section of road as well, but we'll, you know what? We'll go ahead and do that. We'll change it into uh, a regular old two-way road just like that. That's just changing the direction though. I want the, I want the upgrade tool, which is just there. Beautiful. Okay, so you can go around that area kind of nicely which is uh, relatively important. But what we'll do is go ahead and just continue with the... Uh, is that a two-way bit of road? I think it is. We'll continue with the one-way system that we have going on. So bring it to there. Bring it to there. And bring it to there. Absolutely beautiful. Now, that little bit's one way, but that's okay. That's okay for the time being. I, uh, I can go in and I can just upgrade that as well. So, I guess... I guess a lot of you probably have questions regarding City Skylines and Xbox, Xbox One, and that's that's fair. It's definitely fair. I can safely say that when this was announced, I was a little bit skeptical as to whether or not it would run on Xbox One, and I'm not 
here to review the game. I'm not going to review the game. I'm not allowed to review the game until this time tomorrow. If you're watching this video on the day it goes out, which is Thursday the 20th of April 2017, I can't put up any kind of review until tomorrow. But what I will say is that this game is exciting for... If, if only there's if there's only one reason it's exciting that reason is because it's giving city skylines to a lot more people One of the most common things I see in the comments of my city skylines videos is I love watching this game But my PC can't run it. So I hope a lot of those people have an Xbox one because It works. It is city skylines. It is the after dark expansion and it's on a console and it runs and that's exciting to me. I love the idea that there's a whole host of people that haven't yet got to play this game that are not going to be able to play this game. That is very, very exciting to me. So, you might be wondering what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just laying out some grids here. Uh, we're going to go with a very, very uh, basic layout to begin Nerdsdale. There's no point going too over the top with it. So what we'll do is get ourselves some... Uh, Low density residential zoning just into, let's see, those spots there are fine, but I want to go with the, the select option here. So we're going to get some low density residential just into there as well. And then we're going to swap out for some commercial zoning, which is going to go all the way across there. We're not going to have commercial zoning go up through the middle. We're going to get rid of that in just a moment, just like so. Uh, and that bit as well. Uh, then the rest of it is going to be industry because industry is obviously very important. In fact, that bit can be industry. This bit over here can be services such as the coal power plant that we're going to need. So the coal power uh, power plant can go in there. And we're obviously going to need to get ourselves some water as well. So we'll put a water pump just over there. We'll get two of them just to future-proof ourselves a little bit. We'll get ourselves a sewage outflow pipe and throw it just over there. We'll get two of those as well. And we need to connect all of this stuff together with pipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a pipe from here the whole way over to these water pumps. So just like so. Uh, then I'm going to run a pipe from here into about there for a moment. Then, we need to run pipes under all of the roads. And everybody's gonna have water, everyone's gonna have sewage coverage, everyone's gonna be nice and happy. So we'll get that done, we can run a pipe down through the middle of this space as well, then we just have to connect it, and we are going to be golden. So just out to there, like so. And we have some pretty good coverage there, so that's kind of exciting. Let's go ahead and uh, get some power for the water pumps. We're going to put a wind turbine out there. We can put a wind turbine up by the sewage output. And in a moment, once that wind turbine starts working, we should see all sorts of uh, schmeckus flowing out of the... Well, the outflow pipes there. All all sorts of uh, schmeckus. If you happen to work in the sewage industry, you might refer to it as brown gold. But uh, I wouldn't know. I don't work in the sewage industry. So that might just be a, a rumor, a vicious, a vicious rumor that I've heard that uh, this sort of schmeckus might be called brown gold. Anyway, we have a bunch of people moving in. We have a total population of five, which you can see to the right of the city name at the bottom of the screen. To the left of that, of course, you can see our revenue. To the left of that, you can see the date and the speed of the game. Uh, and then on the far right, you can see the demand. That green bar is our residential demand. Beneath that is a blue bar that's not currently blue. That is our commercial demand. And beneath that is a yellow bar, which is not currently yellow, which is the industrial demand. So, while we're waiting for the city to grow a little bit, I'll walk you through some of the UI. It was explained a little bit in the introductory hello message, but uh, the game does play similarly and differently to how it does on PC. You can still inspect a lot of things, but you don't have a dedicated inspect option, so I can highlight things here. I can say, hey, this is the sunny side residents who don't have enough electricity, and then it'll give me a little tip up here. So, how is the building doing? The info window shows you what's going on with the selected building. You can see information about the residents or workers in the building. 
Find out what your building requires to level up by reading the tip below the greenhouse icon. If there's a problem affecting the building, it is shown on the colored bar right below the name. So, not enough electricity in this case. So you can still select things, you can still get the info, you can still rename them if you so desire. I don't really want to do that, but you can if you want to. So it does, like I said, play kind of similarly. And then, of course, at the bottom, you've got your uh, your toolbar there where you can just scroll through it and select the thing that you want. Uh, since we haven't got a population of 900, we can't do districts. We need a population of 440 to do garbage. And if we hold the Y button, we can see a lot of stuff here. So areas, for example, we only have the one. One of nine, as you can see in the top left. We've got city info which is the amount of children, the teens, the young adults, the adults, the seniors, etc., etc. We've got statistics over here as well. We have the economy, which we can't do all that much with, although I can apparently adjust taxes, which is interesting. I'm going to bring my taxes up to um, 11%. Why can I... I could swear you're not supposed to be able to adjust taxes this early in the game. Um, that's interesting. Well, we'll keep the... Uh, well, we'll do that for the taxes immediately. The budgets are fine. We haven't got any loans at the moment. We need a population of 440 for that. And income and expenses is over here as well. We also have info views. You'll be used to these. If you've seen City Skylines and PC, you've got your electricity. We have 51 megawatts available. We are currently consuming two. Water and sewage are doing fine. Education, not so much, but that's okay. We've got milestones. So at 440 people, we are a little hamlet, which gets us taxes and loans, garbage and healthcare, education, and then the buildings that go along with all of that stuff. Uh, now, what I am going to do for a moment here is, well, do I want to run a power line down there? It's very tempting just to uh, get electricity to these people, so I think I will run a power line just like that. Just so these guys can finally have electricity and stop complaining because they're not going to be very happy that they're spending all this time in the city without any real electricity. Uh, now, one thing I think I will actually do is I'm going to bulldoze that bit of road there and I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to upgrade some bits of road to the avenues here. Something like that. So there's a few more lanes to play with there should you want to turn and go elsewhere. Uh, we could technically do the same up here as well, I guess. Looks a little bit strange, but we'll go with that. And uh, once we get a building on this side over here, we'll be able to go ahead and upgrade this bit as well. Because at the moment, no building over here means we do need that power line, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, now, I did miss a tooltip there for a second. Uh, the tooltip I missed was the one that told me about uh, raising and lowering roads. That's actually done with the D-pad on the controller. So if we extend that out and press up, on the D-pad, it'll raise like that. It's still the standard thing where at uh, 12 units, you get your longest uh, uninterrupted slope. If you go to 13, I'll actually, you know what? I can just sort of give you the uh, the example here. So there's 12 units sort of uninterrupted. Uh, if we go over here, we go, uh, that's 12, that's 13. It looks like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's, again, a lot of the mechanics are exactly the same as PC. It's the same game, it's just on Xbox One. I don't think I need to, uh... I don't think I need to keep repeating that fact. Is it obvious I'm a little bit excited about this? It's been a long time. It's been a really long time since I played City Skylines. It's exciting to be playing it on a different platform. And then Mass Transit's out in a month as well. This, this is gonna be a really fun... A uh, couple of months with City Skylines between having it on Xbox One and having mass transit on uh, PC. Speaking of DLCs, I think I mentioned it at the beginning, but I'll mention it uh, again. Uh, this version of City Skylines on Xbox One is the base game and the After Dark expansion. Snowfall and Natural Disasters and Mass Transit are not available in the console version. I don't know if they will be as future additions or DLC or whatever. You're gonna have to take that up and ask Paradox or Colossal Order about it. I have no idea. I just know what's in it at the moment. And as you can tell, After Dark's here because it is starting to get a little bit dark. Oh, hello. You, sir, are the first vehicle I've seen come in here. That's kind of exciting. Oh, that reminds me. If you press the back button, you get like the cinematic camera thing, which is quite nice. It's it's really nice. And this is this is something that the uh, 
the media student in me absolutely adores. Because on the PC version of City Skylines, if you press a button to move forward, it is on or off. That's the way keyboards work. It's on or off. There's no analog signal there. But with an analog stick, you can push forward slightly and you get this just gentle, slow, sort of cinematic move there. I love that. Absolutely, absolutely love that that's a thing. I really do. It makes me want a Steam controller. It makes me want to use a controller with City Skylines and PC for cinematic shots because it's so beautiful. Uh, it is worth noting, of course, you can turn off the day-night cycle should you so desire. I'm going to leave it on for the time being because I never really play with it and because it is a part of the console version that's, uh, you know, it's built in there. After Dark is built in there. Have we got an electricity connection here yet? Oh, we do. Beautiful. I'd like to get rid of that then. So there we go. We have our little electrical connection. We have a decent bit of demand for industrial zoning. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we do still have a decent bit of space over here. I think what I'll do is uh, I'll zone up. Actually, no, I won't zone that bit until the other bit's already built. What I will do is throw a bit more commercial zoning in here. Not that we desperately need it. But I do want it in there just because I'd like to build up a small commercial zone there. That seems like it might be a pretty good idea. And I guess while we're waiting, I could go ahead and expand, uh, expand, extend. There was, there was a weird combination of the word expand and extend there. I'm not really sure where that was going, uh, but I want to expend, I guess is, uh, is the word we'll go with. Uh, I want to expand. That's just a different accent, isn't it? Expend. That's, that's. Is that is that a New Zealand accent? If you if you combine expand and extend and you get expend, I don't know. I've just I've just gotten very confused. It's it's like when anyone says the words my coke. Oh god, I'm talking about drugs in the city skylines. There's a reason to it. Uh, it's like when you say my cocaine. If you say it quick enough, you're just saying Michael Caine's name in his accent. It's my cocaine. That's a fun little factoid for you there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's um, let's go ahead and uh, extend some roads down this way a little bit. Uh, we'll bring this all the way down to uh, about there and connect it up. We'll do the same on this side as well. And uh, by the way, if this happens to be your first time watching me play City Skylines, don't worry. I know these road layouts aren't the most gorgeous that you've ever seen. But uh, they will eventually, eventually be quite nice looking. For the time being, I'm just going with this because it's very simple and it's very easy to expand uh, upon this layout. Eventually, a lot of this will be tweaked and changed and turned into an actual sort of semi-beautiful city. Uh, that's the goal anyway. I shouldn't say things like it'll be a beautiful city because if it isn't, then everybody's let down, uh, including me. Anyway, we'll not bother expanding with the zoning just yet. We'll go ahead and get more pipes into all of this so that when we do expand this, we don't have to worry about doing that uh, at that later point. That's something I always forget to do as well. I build these massive, massive expansions for my cities, and then I forget to add the water and the piping and all that stuff in. Always, always forget to do that, but there we go. We're not going to be worrying too much about that this time. We actually have got a little bit of uh, residential demand creeping in there. I have to imagine a lot of the residential zoning is full. Yeah, residential zoning is pretty much full. So what we'll do is we will fill up this space over here. Little bit of industrial demand creeping in there. I think we might need to throw ourselves a little bit more industrial space over here. So we'll go ahead and do just that. And that'll hopefully keep people nice and happy. This area over here is already expanding, which is beautiful news. This area over here is uh, not currently expanding, but it might eventually. We'll certainly see. Uh, anything else I've forgotten to look at? That's, that's the one thing. We haven't looked at policies, but that's because we haven't unlocked policies yet. Uh, that's, of course, in... City. No, these are just all the policies. So you've got the fairly, you know, all the standard policies that you'll have seen uh, with After Dark and the base game. You know, they all make a triumphant return. Oh, I totally forgot to do this. 
totally, totally forgot to change the road direction there, which apparently... There we go. Beautiful. So that's going to let people get about nice and easily. It is a bit weird having the yellow lights down the middle like that, but uh, that's all right. We've got some people coming in here on uh, a little scooter. Who is that? I'd like to know who you are, sir. This is owned by Raymond Cooper. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, who owns this? This is Raymond Walker. And this is Anna Walker. Wait a minute. Hold on. So Anna Walker resides at the Elk Residence. And you also reside at the Elk Residence. Oh, look at this. They're just driving. Okay. So you, you know, you take the one car, you take the Jeep, and we'll head home. Where do they live? Where is the Elk Residence? More to the point, why is it the Elk Residence if the Walkers live there? Shouldn't it be the Walker Residence? My immersion is just being shattered here. I don't know what to believe anymore. Is that the Elk Residence? Nope. Is that the Elk? Nope. Uh, elk? Nope. Where do you live? No, oh, down here? Elk Residence? Nope. Elk Residence? Nope. Elk? Aha! The Elk Residence. Right. Beautiful. Uh, so... <laughs> That's totally fine. Uh, so are you guys gonna pull over? Oh, you are. Uh, that's... That's... Um... I'm pretty sure what you did there was illegal. But we'll not worry too much about it. I like that he's parked on the, uh, the road and you're parking really badly in the driveway. Fair enough. Well, you two, uh... Welcome to the city, I suppose. I would say drive safe, but you've clearly shown that you're not capable of doing that, so I'll not bother wasting my breath. Uh, let's go ahead and expand with a little bit more uh, residential zoning just over here. Because this is almost full and we still have a little hint of residential zoning there in the bottom right. I'd really like to get us to be a small uh, little hamlet by the end of this first episode. By the way, uh, there will be at least one more episode of City Skylines Xbox One Edition today. Uh, then this will pretty much be a daily series for a little while. So if you are new around here and you do fancy seeing more City Skylines Xbox One Edition, you know what you can do. I don't often promote my channel like that, but when it's a, you know, when it's a series like this that I know I'm excited about, I know people are excited about, you know, let's, uh, let's have a back and forth here. Let's, uh, let's welcome some new people to the Conflict Herd community. You heard me right. Oh my god, I realize I've never... Have I ever made reference to the conflict herd, as in H-E-R-D, on YouTube? Because that's what we call this community on Twitch for the live streams. The conflict herd. I don't know if I've ever made reference to that on YouTube. Either way, welcome. You are, uh, you are most welcome. Uh, how's this area going then? It's, it's looking pretty good. We're at 336 people. Which is, you know, another 104, and we are a little Hamlet. You might be wondering, by the way, why don't I just go ahead and speed up the game? That's not actually something you're capable of doing on the Xbox One Edition. You can play, or you can, uh, you can pause. That's, uh, that's, that's your choices right there. So it is a little bit slower. That's, that's one thing you will notice. It is, it is a little bit slower than the PC Edition. But that's all right. I'm totally fine with that. It actually gives me an interesting perspective of the game because I usually blast through it so quickly. So it is nice having this slightly slower experience going on here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I have rambled for long enough for one episode. We're not going to be a little Hamlet in today's episode. It shouldn't take too long to get there, so I imagine... I say today's episode, the first episode of today... We're not going to be a little Hamlet immediately, but it's not going to take too long to get there. So thank you kindly for watching with this being part one of a new Let's Play, a new City Skylines Let's Play on a new platform. If you like the video, do like the video. Show your support. It's going to be good. It's exciting. City Skylines and Xbox One, I believe, releases uh, on the 21st of April 2017. It's exciting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Kana, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye and be services.
such as the coal power plant that we're going to need. So the coal power uh, power plant can go in there. And we're obviously going to need to get ourselves some water as well. So we'll put a water pump just over there. We'll get two of them just to future-proof ourselves a little bit. We'll get ourselves a sewage outflow pipe and throw it just over there. We'll get two of those as well. And we need to connect all of this stuff together with pipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a pipe from here the whole way over to these water pumps. So just like so. Uh, then I'm going to run a pipe from here into about there for a moment. Then we need to run pipes under all of the roads. And everybody's going to have water. Everyone's going to have sewage coverage. Everyone's going to be nice and happy. So we'll get that done. We can run a pipe down through the middle of this space as well. Then we just have to connect it. And we are going to be golden. So just out to there, like so. And we have some pretty good coverage there, so that's kind of exciting. Let's go ahead and uh, get some power for the water pumps. We're going to put a wind turbine out there. We can put a wind turbine up by the sewage output. And in a moment, once that wind turbine starts working, we should see all sorts of uh, schmeckus flowing out of the... Well, the outflow pipes there. All all sorts of uh, schmeckus. If you happen to work in the sewage industry, you might refer to it as brown gold. But uh, I wouldn't know. I don't work in the sewage industry. So, like, uh, like this. We're going to just bring that up to about there as well. And we'll go for a regular old two-way road between those like that. Uh, so that connects kind of nicely. I'm pretty sure that road does need to be flipped around though so let me just get the one-way road here change the road direction and there we go if we zoom in we can see the direction that the roads are going that one goes straight on or to the right that one should probably be a two-way section of road as well but we'll, you know what we'll go ahead and do that we'll change it into uh, a regular old two-way road just like that that's just changing the direction though i want the i want the upgrade tool which is just there beautiful okay so you can go around that area kind of nicely which is uh, relatively important. But what we'll do is go ahead and just continue with the... Uh, is that a two-way bit of road? I think it is. We'll continue with the one-way system that we have going on. So bring it to there. Bring it to there. And bring it to there. Absolutely beautiful. Now that little bit's one way, but that's okay. That's okay for the time being. I, uh, I can go in and I can just upgrade that as well. So, I guess... I guess a lot of you probably have questions regarding City Skylines and Xbox Xbox One, and that's that's fair. It's definitely fair. I can safely say that when this was announced, I was a little bit skeptical as to whether or not it would run on Xbox One, and I'm not here to review the game. I'm not going to review the game. I'm not allowed to review the game until this time tomorrow. If you're watching this video on the day it goes out, which is Thursday the 20th of April 2007. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to City Skylines Xbox One Edition. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I am certainly excited to be jumping in to City Skylines on the Xbox One. It's been almost two years since this was announced, but it's finally here, or rather, it's almost here. A special thank you to both Paradox and Colossal Order for letting me check this out a little bit early. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we are going to be starting a new game. We're going to be going with one of the old classic maps here. I'm honestly eyeing up Foggy Hills just a little bit. The city name is not going to be Spring Valley, though. That is that is just not staying here. We're going to just change that a little bit and get ourselves good old, good old Nerds Dale, just like so. There we go. Nerds Dale is going to be the name of the city. Left-hand drive traffic, and we are going to be turning on unlimited money. You might be asking yourself, hold on a minute. Why are you turning on unlimited money? Well, to put it simply... I have played a lot of City Skylines, and I'm quite excited for Mass Transit, which is out in like a month's time, and I know how long it takes to get to sort of a, a finished state with City Skylines, and that's going to be more than a month if I don't have unlimited money. 
I also just want to explore the console version of City Skylines. We still have management to do. We need to deal with demand. We need to deal with supply. We need to deal with zoning and the coverage of all sorts of things. So we do still have a management side of things. We just haven't seen. I can't put up any kind of review until tomorrow. But what I will say is that this game is exciting for... If, if only there's if there's only one reason it's exciting that reason is because it's giving city skylines to a lot more people One of the most common things I see in the comments of my city skylines videos is I love watching this game But I, my PC can't run it. So I hope a lot of those people have an Xbox one because It works. It is city skylines. It is the after dark expansion and it's on a console and it runs and that's exciting to me. I love the idea that there's a whole host of people that haven't yet got to play this game that are not going to be able to play this game. That is very, very exciting to me. So, you might be wondering what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just laying out some grids here. Uh, we're going to go with a very, very uh, basic layout to begin Nerdsdale. There's no point going too over the top with it. So what we'll do is get ourselves some... Uh, Low density residential zoning just into, let's see, those spots there are fine, but I want to go with the, the select option here. So we're going to get some low density residential just into there as well. And then we're going to swap out for some commercial zoning, which is going to go all the way across there. We're not going to have commercial zoning go up through the middle. We're going to get rid of that in just a moment, just like so. Uh, and that bit as well. Uh, then the rest of it is going to be industry because industry is obviously very important. In fact, that bit can be industry. This bit over here can don't have to worry about money. So hello, let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them. Buildings will spawn on the zoned areas and you will unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows. For help, press the right stick. It will provide you with information regarding the menu or view that you have open or the item you have selected. You can view detailed information about your city at any time by holding Y to open the radial info menu and selecting an info menu with the left stick. Beautiful. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, City Skylines on Xbox One. It looks pretty damn similar to uh, how it looks on PC. The draw distance is slightly uh, less than what it is on PC, but I'm not here to review the game. I'm just here to play it. So we're going to go right ahead and build ourselves a little road over here. We're just going to build like that, and then we're going to delete it because I don't want that to be my main road in. I want a nice little one-way road over here. So it's going to go to about there. We're going to have this road come in to... Ooh, they don't quite line up, do they? Uh, that can go like that. Then this connects to there, and we delete that bit. Then we're going to have to go in and change the direction of that road, just like so. And we are sorted in terms of uh, getting traffic in and out of the city. Except what I'm going to do here is uh, just go back to straight roads there and have that be a little connection across there so traffic can immediately U-turn. Uh, but for the main road through the city, we're going to go 20 units this way, and we're going to go across 